Okay, so I've been pretty much stuck in my house, pretty bored for like the last week um, due to COVID. I swear, like when I got back from my grandparents' house, like for Christmas, everybody was either sick or tested positive for COVID. So I haven't really been able to see anybody, which is fine. It's better to be safe than sorry. Um, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I also was like, I have not been on YouTube in a really long time. And I started watching this, like, one YouTuber I used to watch all the time. I think her name is, like, Rochelle Rara Knups or something. And I remember messaging her, like, a long time ago when I first started watching her videos. Because I was like, oh, we have, like, similar life stories. Like, from what I gathered from what she posts on the internet. I was like, we have similar life stories. Like that's kind of crazy and I remember like messaging her and I got so excited because she responded because she was like she's not like a huge youtuber but like a lot of people do like she's probably like a middle-sized I don't I don't freaking know whatever the case is um I was so excited when she messaged me back and then like I was just watching her updated update video and I was like dang like we kind of have similar life stories still and it's been like five four years like holy crap, like, but yeah, I have not been on YouTube at all, like, I don't know why, I was just, like, randomly, like, let me watch some YouTube videos, because I have been, I already said it once, but, like, I've been stuck in this house, and it's, like, I've been watching a lot of 90 Day Fiance, and that's just not cutting it for me, so I was, like, let me go back to YouTube, see what, see what's up with everybody, you know, Okay, so anyway, let's get to the updates. I'm currently in my parents' room because my parents' room has much better lighting than my room. Um, I just had to go shut the door, though, so that they wouldn't just come in. Look, oh my gosh. It's, like, so bright. Like, the snow has such high albedo. Okay, I remember that term from Earth and Space Science. Um, anyway. Yeah, so it's very, like... I can't zoom in. That's ridiculous. I'm filming on my iPhone and it's kind of funny because I got the newest iPhone after years of like not updating my iPhone or like upgrading my iPhone 7. I had an iPhone 7 for like four years and it just ended up breaking down. Like I couldn't do anything on the iPhone 7. Like it had no, no space. Um, my apps kept crashing. Like nothing was supporting or like my iPhone would not support anything really. Anyway, so I, I decided to save a little bit and they were having like a really good deal with the iPhone 13. So I was like, okay, let, let me just do it. And here I am with this iPhone that has like, not a, like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm, I'm grateful, of course, but whatever the case is, I feel like the camera quality went down. Like it kind of smooths out my face or whenever I'm on a FaceTime call, like I have a lazy eye. And then it corrects my lazy eye. Look, I'm not even looking at the camera, but I do have a lazy eye. And then um, when I'm FaceTime calling somebody, I can tell that they're, like, editing my eyes to make them, like, straight. And it's really scary, actually. Anyway. Okay, let's get on with the updates. The life updates. I think, like, the reason I haven't been on YouTube that much is because of TikTok. Like, once I got TikTok, or once I got really into TikTok, I stopped using YouTube. Because my attention span is very short. And, um... TikTok caters to that with those short little videos but I also think that means a lot of people's attention spans are getting shorter and shorter not sure why but um could be like some kind of conspiracy but I don't want to get into that um yeah I feel like TikTok is just kind of the new thing and it's kind of kicking out YouTube but I don't know I've just been like I'm like, I'm going to try to get back on YouTube and see what it's about because I feel like there is still, like, such a good bit of people that watch YouTube videos, you know? And so, anyway, back to, like, my updates. I have not really been feeling like making YouTube videos in a really long time. Um, I just, like, kind of grew out of it, which is weird. I felt like I was never going to grow out of it. Like, I wanted to be famous so bad. I would keep y posting YouTube videos, but that just did not happen <laughs> at all. So, whatever the case is. But I keep seeing my subscriber count go up little by little, like, every couple weeks, you know? So, that's kind of fun. Um, okay, let's see what's up. So, um, I have an internship or a job, 
and it's a year-long position which is really cool and it's with the lo it's with the go government local government and um I absolutely love it it's exactly what I wanted to do like I graduated in May yeah I have not been on YouTube in a long time I graduated in May with a geography environmental science geography and environmental science d degree a BS I'm very proud of myself um yeah so I ended up getting an internship with local government doing like sustainability work and like outreach and climate and energy stuff so it's really really cool okay so let's go ahead and light these candles watch i'm about to burn myself because it's gonna go okay one second one sec okay that kind of sets the scene a little bit um i just relocated back to my own room uh anyway so that's it's a really cool internship program i'm really happy that i got it okay so now let's get into like the personal stuff, the TMI stuff that I shouldn't really be posting anywhere. So we'll see if this video even gets published. But um, I have been single for a while now. This is probably the longest time I've been single in a very long time. I've had multiple relationships, like three kind of back to back relationships, or even if they weren't like back to back, like I kind of immediate, not immediately, but like I started talking to somebody like right after. And it's like right after I broke up with someone, I kind of had somebody, I mean, that sounds bad. Okay. That's creepy. Look, I just like, this is my, I was talking about my lazy eye earlier. And this is like, it covers up one of the glasses piece. And then I found this. I just literally pulled this out. So that, that sounds like a good sign. You know what I mean? Because this is not a fortune cookie. <laughs> I don't know why that was in there. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this forever. It says opportunity awaits next Monday. Can't really see it. Mm. Anyway. This is like the longest time I've been single and um, it's interesting for sure. I feel like I am learning to be independent and learning to like occupy myself. Um, like right now, like there's this huge snowstorm and I know that I would be at like one of my ex-boyfriend's house. No, not like now, but like at, during a snowstorm when I was dating one of them, I would be over at their house. Like I could not be alone at all. And now like I am occupying myself. I do think I get a little bored sometimes though, but I don't think that has anything to do with me not having somebody to talk to or me not having somebody to be with. Um yeah but i'm i'm learning to be independent but i can only be so much independent because i'm still living with my parents right now okay so i just kind of accidentally deleted some of my video but what i was going to say about me living with my parents is that i'm very grateful that my parents are letting me stay at my house until like i'm stable enough and have enough money to move out um but i know everybody's living situation is different um yeah Okay, that's it. So I recently have gotten into journaling, which has been extremely helpful. And it's crazy because I used to um, journal kind of. Hold on, let me go grab my other journals. Okay. So these are all my other journals, right? But okay, this one was supposed to be my like, I don't know, spiritual journal, but it just seemed very like forced and kind of weird. So I pretty much stopped writing in this one. I mean, I'll write in it from time to time though. Um, yeah, it is helpful sometimes, but I pretty much stopped writing in this one. Like, and then these two are like diaries. Okay. And every time I start a diary, I end up stopping. I end I end up stop I end up stopping writing in them. That was weird. Okay, I end up stopping writing in them. Does that make sense? I don't know. Um mostly because I end up like acting like somebody's going to read my diary. Like so I start writing for somebody rather than like for myself. So I'm like 
mm, I start crossing out names or like changing up things and I'm like somebody's gonna see these one day and I want them to see these one day so I need to make sure that this is like a story as much as I can and then it's just like that's not a diary anymore I guess maybe like that's my definition of a diary is like that so I was like I completely stopped writing in them I will get like probably like there's a candle I'll probably get like 20 pages and then I'm like done and this one's from like 2015 and this one's from a little bit more recent like last year so I decided to pick up on journaling because I'm like frick it I'm not gonna do it like diary style and I've already written more than I have in or more than I had in either of these books um yeah I'm just like I feel like you guys can read it sorry I'm just writing literally anything like if I'm having anxiety I write down like why I'm having anxiety because I usually know why I'm having anxiety um but then I just keep it in my head instead of writing it down so when I write it down it helps release the anxiety like yeah that sounds crazy sometimes but it's really not and then also like I have like anger issues kind of like I feel like a lot of people say they have anger issues but um like including me um so I'll write down why I'm angry in that moment and then it kind of like after I write it down the anger kind of floods from my body I'm just like oh I feel better you know I don't know what it is it feels nice to like just write to yourself and like without any rules or like any organization and I just write whatever I want to write it's great I like it anyway Ooh. okay so that is a little life update there is not much more I would like to add but thank you guys if you guys watched this video um this is a different style for sure I don't usually do this look I painted this recently I am no painter but I was like at my grandparents house and they have so many arts and crafts and I'm like okay I'm gonna paint so I painted this kind of cute right look at this deer I keep forgetting I can't zoom in on this uh, I'm just pretty proud of it even though it's like obviously not the best and you can see like such harsh lines or whatever I'm just saying I'm proud of it because I don't paint at all really anyway guys thank you guys for watching should I add this into the thumbnail do people like mushrooms like that what do you guys think Ooh, maybe not with all that junk in the background. I apologize. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you later, I guess.